Hello, Jimmy Armijo Grover here with Gallatin River Guides. Um, today we'll be tying, it's kind of a version of, uh, well, very close to the Madison Purple Death pattern, less a bead really. Um, so something in between a Crystal Serendipity pattern um, and the Purple Death. Um, we love serendipity patterns um, on the Madison River, especially around here, um, but they also function for us um, on many different rivers um, and can be very good. We, we fish a uh, very large variety of colors and sizes. Um, this one's a bit experimental, but um, the Purple Death has proven to be very effective for us um, as, um, you know, um, so... It, it only makes sense that it would fish well in this version. We're going to start off with a thread um, and then tying in a extra small silver wire. Gold would probably work um, just as well on this particular pattern. Um, and then we're going to wrap our thread back to the rear um, uh, to about where the barb would normally be. But this is a barbless hook as you can see. Um, and then at that point, we're going to tie in a couple of strands of purple crystal flash. I'm using um, UV purple in this particular case. Um, you can tie in three strands or more even if you want, if you want to build up a thicker body. Um, I like to, to keep it pretty sparse. Um, then I'm going to advance my thread back up to the eye of the hook. Um, and then we can start wrapping our crystal flash. Um, if you can find a way to twist your crystal flash a little bit, that'll help keep the strands together. Um, hard to twist with your fingers, um, it just kind of slides in your hand, um, and that first wrap is always the most challenging. <coughs> um, you see that I put my finger on each wrap. Um, one thing you don't see is the camera is about six inches away from the fly, making it a bit more challenging. So, um, But that just helps so it doesn't unravel while I um, grab the material from the other side. Um, get to the eye hook, um, tie off that crystal flash, and then we want to rib, um, reverse rib, or counter wrap the, the ribbing material all the way to the eye of the hook. Trying to keep thread wraps pretty sparse at the head. Don't want to build up a huge head at this point. Um, and then we're going to tie in our smart Sparkle Emerger yarn. I just took a very thin strand and I'm going to double it over. Um, this helps so that um, yarn doesn't pull out um, at any point But when you double it over. Um, so making the fly much more durable. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to trim that wing off to about a third or half the length of the, the shank. Um, and then all that's really left is to whip finish and then maybe add some UV um, thin head cement. I'm using Dave's Flex Cement uh, um, right now just because it's handy. Um, it's nice to add a little bit of durability to the body um, and of course to the head. Um, best used under weighted flies. Um, um, expect it to work well potentially year-round spring, summer, fall, um, and even winter. Um, have fun, and uh, hope uh, you tie this up and get some fun out of it. Thank you.